bit nervous. As you can't tell. And uh, I knew that I had broken my rib. Yeah, we're, we're good. We're here. We made it. It was an awesome trip. Yeah, it was excellent. Great haul. And we just pulled up to this uh, Riverside restaurant, so the sup and the kayak are just tied up outside. Yeah. And uh, it's lunchtime. It's lunchtime. Let's eat. So all those guys just all took off to go surf the, the Bono. And I was saying that this is probably the only time of the whole trip where I've actually sort of wished I could use a motor because I don't know if I'll ever be back here again and have a chance to surf this wave. I'm not really that bummed. I accepted it. I knew that was the case coming here, but I'm not bummed at all, to tell you the truth. It would be really nice to be able to surf this wave and just go for a little motorboat ride, but I'm not doing that. Staying true to to the goal, to the mission, to never use a motor. We want to go to check the wave for today. The competition will start tomorrow. Today we just want to check and make sure where the web break and everything. Just want to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy. In an hour I'll paddle out on the stand-up paddle board and give it a go, hopefully be in the right spot. Hey buddy. <laughs> so yeah, we'll uh, hopefully get you, get get a good ride today. We'll see how it goes. These guys are still just all the locals are loading up on the boat. Hopefully, gonna go get your ride.
here on the Bono. Bono with the seven ghosts, the Campfire River. Just slowly flowing down the river. The wave, the tidal bore wave is gonna come up the river here soon. It's probably gonna be quite a few surfers on it because it's the high season and there's a surf comp happening tomorrow, so a bunch of pro guys flew in. And I'm hopefully gonna be in the right place to be able to surf it. Uh, just paddle into it. Pretty peaceful out here. That's our, uh, we spent our hotel. The best restaurant in town is right across the street. So yeah, you don't wear shoes and especially when it's like this at high tide. I think he needs a rescue. Oh, that guy. Not the water man. Sanity. We're pretty much locals now. Walking through garbage water. Houses is on stilts. This is after a little bit of rain and a high tide. The whole place is basically underwater. So you might recognize this, but this is where that soccer tournament was just two days ago. Unplayable now. Here is that garbage river the kids were swimming in. Goes lost in dysfunction. Goes a hell of a long way. Paves a whole new space for what I truly believe to surround me. To move in, to move in, to move in with me. That's it. <laughs> 